What is up guys, welcome back to another video. This is a bit of a random video that I thought I'd make just so I can actually get something out whilst I'm away. As you're watching this, I'm going to be away with some friends for the weekend. If you're Australian, you probably know what schoolies is. I don't know if they have it in America or not. But uh, I'm not going to that, I'm going away with some friends for like the weekend of schoolies. Uh, as school is finished. But yeah, that's what I'd show you. Next year, I'm going to be doing a course and the year after that is a game programming course uh, for AI. Oh, it's at AIE Academy of Interactive Entertainment. And basically, I'm going to learn how to make games um, using, I think, C Sharp most of the time and uh, Unity and all that stuff. Because when I went to the interview, they were using Unity. So I thought, why not try to get, uh, get to understand it a bit? So I watched some tutorials and I've kind of gotten the hang of it, just uh, the simple shit. So I thought I'd show you and maybe I could get some suggestions, because I kind of actually want to make this little game and just add some cool stuff to it. At the moment, I've just been kind of doing levels and making different things to different stuff. Uh, you can check out the tutorial if I remember to put it in the description. But yeah, I'm just going to show you each level. So this is level 1, this is level 2. Don't mind that, it's all uh, one back after this. Like, it's a uh, level 3 is actually level 2, level 4 is actually level 3, and so on. But yeah, this is level 2, level 3. Uh, you'll probably have to wait for that, because you're like, what the fuck, that's nothing good. Uh, level 4, level 5, and level 6. So I'm going to go ahead and show you level 1. I just, I'll just i talk you through it, I guess. Uh, I'm using Unity, C Sharp, and it's just kind of a game where this is, you're with the red square, got to watch out for the blue square and these traps. I'll add more things as I go, and you got to get to the green square. I'm not actually very good at it, but uh, I'm probably going to fail under pressure. Oops, I just hit the spike. But uh, you got to time it right. Alright. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm not, see, when I, when I try, I'm not good at it. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, I know what I've, okay, see, so look, troubleshooting already. I know what I've did, actually. I, yeah, okay, so I changed the script, so this actually comes up a lot quicker. As you can see, it's every one, two seconds, so I just need to really quickly change the script. I might actually show you, do that on the, as I go. Oh, then again, I'm going to put in some errors and all that stuff. So I'm going to quickly change the script so I can actually complete this level, because right now it's, physically impossible <laughs> but uh yeah i'll be right back Alrighty, just for the example i just changed the uh, th the uh the time that uh, the animation plays and the the hitbox comes up to three seconds instead of one second i need it for one second on another on another level but uh, i can change that up later with a different script but yeah here it is uh, i was like why am i not getting past this but that's because it was uh, it was basically impossible so we got to uh, still hit the edge you got to time it perfectly, so I got to wait. Uh, I got to wait next one. All right, here we go. Like I could, I would do this thirty times over, but until I and show you when I start recording, I get nervous. <laughs> uh, okay, so I basically fucked this one up, but I can. <laughs> I fucked this one up. Okay, so basically, I will show you what I need to do. I needed to get in front of that blue square so I can go around quicker. But unfortunately, I didn't. So he will. I could chase him and really quickly get past there, but I'll probably die because he actually comes all the way back. So instead of just for entertainment purposes, I'm not going to do that just because it's going to take way too much time. So we'll get to the next level. This one's actually really hard as well, um, as you can see on the red square down there. And I've got to. Oh, have I just seriously done it first go? All right. Well, <laughs> it's actually really hard, <laughs> but uh, I just did it first go. But anyway, this one's not as hard. Um, I just thought I'd change the angle up a bit just so it looks cooler. And now this one is just, um, these are teleport pads. As you can see, they look pretty cool. So if I go on the, uh, I got, I got a, basically it's just like a trial and area. You got to find out which one is the right one. Obviously I know what one the right one is because I've made the game, but hopefully I can get there. It's this one. So now I'm over here and, uh, oh yeah. So right now I haven't added level six to the database, so I'll go ahead and open up this one. Just change that so that when I actually go to level seven, I actually need to start the whole thing over again. God damn it! That's uh, luckily I got this thing here, which uh, obviously only I can have when I'm making it. So I can just do it real quick. Oops! I always get confused. But yeah, I just want to know some suggestions, guys. If you if you have any suggestions um, on what I could do, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you, and I don't have anything. Unfortunately, the here's the last. I haven't finished this one. Uh, one sec. Unfortunately, I I can't get a road to Dragon Law up video up uh, because I am away, and hopefully my item will sell today, and I can get one up. But otherwise, I'll have to start next uh, week, I guess, when I get back. 
But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys uh, kind of my progress. I have came into this with no programming skills at all. So I've kind of just learning as I go and it's fun and I enjoy it. So this, the goal for this one I haven't finished yet is each teleporter takes you to a different spot. Am I getting a phone call? God damn it, I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that. Anyway, so yeah, here's the level. I want to make it kind of like Pokemon where each you want to like, you need to test each teleporter out. So you go to like different parts. So like that teleporter takes you there, that one takes you there, and like each one will have another two. And it kind of like, it's like random and you don't know what one until you get to the green square. That's kind of the goal. So yeah, I want to uh, make make a lot of stuff with this game. I just want to do it for fun, just so I can actually learn. That's the only reason why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it to like make money or anything. I'm just doing it for fun. It's obviously not the best looking game. But uh, remember that I'm doing it I'm doing programming not like the design uh, the art part like making it actually look good that's not my job each one of these animation things as you can see here not the particles were made using I made it on uh, I made them on cinema 4d and the traps made on blender uh, made them on blender but I find cinema 4d a lot easier so I decided to make them on cinema 4d but yeah I just wanted to show you guys get something out um, before I uh, bef so I don't uh, so I can I don't know, just get something up whilst I'm away. But yeah, this is just this is it. Um hope you enjoyed this video. It kinda just yeah, I wanna make a game I wanna make games. It's basically uh it's basically my goal. So next year hopefully I can uh, learn and be a bit uh be a bit better and hopefully make some cool games. Work for Bethesda, that'd be sick. <laughs> but yeah guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully I can get some uh Road to Dragon Law videos out as when I get back and we can get to that Dragon Law and then we can get to the next goal. Who knows what it's gonna be? We're actually really close. But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Peace.